Good day class, today we will tackle about the Filipino food or cuisine, Filipino sports, and Filipino music. At the end of this module, you will be able to familiarize the Filipino food or cuisine, Filipino sports, and Filipino music. At number two, identify and appreciate our food, sports, and music. Filipino food or cuisine is composed of more than a hundred distinct ethno-linguistic groups found throughout the Philippine archipelago. However, a majority of mainstream Filipino dishes that compose Filipino food or cuisine are from the various ethno-linguistic groups and tribes of the archipelago, including the Ilocano, Pangasinan, Kapampangan, Tagalog, Bicolano, Visayan, Cebuano, Hiligaynon, and Waray. Chabacano and Maranao ethno-linguistic groups. So our style of food making and the food associated, it uh, evolves over many centuries from their Astronesian origins like Malaysian and Indonesian cu cuisines and then nahaluan ito ng Indian, Chinese, Spanish and American influences. Then, in line with these uh, major waves of influence that had enriched our cultures in food making, as well as others adapted to indigenous ingredients and the local palate. So, as in most Asian countries, just like the Philippines, itong uh, bigas ang siyang pinakapangunahin nating pagkain. So, it is the most often steamed and always served with meat, fish, and vegetable dishes. Kapag may mga leftover naman, ito yung ginagawa natin. Ginagawa natin uh, sinangag. Ano? Mostly sa umaga. Ano? So, which is usually served at breakfast together with a fried egg and cured meat or sausages. Next, we have several rice porridges that are popular in the Philippines. So, the first one, we have our scaldo, which is a rice porridge cooked with chicken. Okay, uh, basically, it is cooked with chicken, ginger, and sometimes apron, garnished with the spring onions, chives, toast, toasted garlic, and coconut milk to make a type of gruel. Then, another variant, we have goto, which is an auscaldo made. Okay, so, then another variant, we have, uh, or another uh, rice porridge called champorado, which is sweet and flavored with chocolate. Another uh, often serve at breakfast, paired with tuyo or daing. Then we have another rice based dish, that was a la Valenciana from the Spaniards, okay? Pa uh, Spanish paella named after the Spanish region Valencia that has been incorporated into the local cuisine. Next we have uh, bringi, it's, it is a local rice dish with some similarities to paella sa paella na ang Spanish, but using glutinous rice, coconut milk, and turmeric. Then, the last one, we have kiampong, a type of fried rice topped with pork pieces, chives, and peanuts. So, it can be found in Chinese restaurants in Binondo and Manila. Dishes, we have uh, camarón noy posado, has been described as a classic dish in the Binondo district of Manila, the city's Chinatown. So, ito yung may malalaking hipon. Okay. Then, some of these are evident in the infusion of coconut milk, particularly in the renowned laing and sinilihan, as popularized by Bicol. Okay. Other uh, regional variants of stews or soups commonly tagged as ginataan or with coconut milk. Okay, madalas ito sa Bicol. Dahil mga silang uh, tanim na uh, coconut. Also bound Filipino kitchens and food establishment. Then, the last one, a dish from the Visayas, simmered in coconut water, yung sabaw ng nyog, ideally in the bamboo. Oh, niluluto ito dun sa loob ng uh, kawayan. It is the binacol, usually with chicken as the main ingredient. Uh, 
dishes, we have adobo. Ito yung pinakasikat na dish dito sa Pilipinas. And it is considered unofficially lang naman by many as the national dish. Okay? So, it usually consists of pork or chicken, sometimes both. Pinagahalo minsan yan, ano? Stowed or braised in a sauce, usually sa suka, cooking oil, garlic, bay leaf, peppercorns, and soy sauce, of course. So, it can also be prepared dry by cooking out the liquid and concentrating the flavor. Next dish, we have bistec, also known as the Filipino beef steak. Consists of thinly sliced beef, marinated in soy sauce and calamansi, and then fried in a skillet that is typically served with onions. Okay, may onions sa ibabaw. Next naman, uh, some well-known stews are kare-kare and uh, dinuguan, of course. Yeah. Sa kare-kare naman, it's also known as peanut stew. Oxtail or ox stripe is the main ingredient and is cooked with vegetables in a peanut-based preparation. It is typically served with bagoong. Again, iba yung bagoong natin sa Pangasinan at iba yung bagoong nila sa Manila. Yung sa atin, bagoong isda. Yung sa kanila, ang tawag nila sa bagoong. Yung alamang natin, bagoong tawag sa kanila doon. And uh, next is paksiw. Okay? It refers to different vinegar-based stews that dip differ greatly from one another based on the type of meat used. So, sa pagsiw, uh, magkakaiba yan. Iba-iba. May isda, may baboy, may uh, uh, may pagsiw na lechon. No? Yan. So, iba-iba uh, yung variant ng uh, pagsiw. Next, we have crispy pata. Yung uh, hita no? ng uh, baboy. Uh, the pork knuckles, known as pata, are marinated in garlic flavored vinegar, then deep fried until crisp and golden brown, with other parts of the pork leg prepared in the same way. Next, we have itong uh, lechon manok. Okay? It is the uh, Filipino take on rotisserie chicken. Okay? Available in many hole in the wall, stands or restaurants chains. Kahit saan yan, may lechon manukan tayo dito. Kahit sa ang bayan. Ano? So, may mga sikat dyan. We have now, we have andoks, we have uh, chukstugo, Sir Pedro, yung mga yan. Ilan sa mga sikat na uh, lechonan. Next dishes, we have michado, caldereta, and apetada. So, itong tatlong to are Spanish influence tomato sauce based dishes. So, sa Michado, uh, get its name from the pork fat that is inserted in a slab of beef making. It look like a wick or micha coming out of a big beef candle. Sa kaldereta naman, it can be beef, pwedeng baka, at associated din with goat or uh, yung kambing sa atin, sa mga sinan, madalas ay kambing yung uh, ingredients natin so sa apretada naman uh, tends to be the name given to the dish when chicken and pork is used so apretada pwedeng chicken or pork next, tayo mga Pilipino ay we also eat tusino and longganisa if you say tocino, ito yung uh, matamis, ano? sweetened cured meat made with either chicken or pork. Sa lunganisa naman, either sweet or spicy sausage, typically made from pork, though other meats can also be used. Okay? So next, we have seafood. Yan. Usong-uso yan ngayon, yung uh, mukbang, if I'm not mistaken, sa mga kabataan madalas, ano? So, mahilig tayo dyan sa seafood. Mayroon tayong mga hipon, mayroong oyster or talaba, mayroong uh, clams, halaan, antulya, mayroong mga limango, limasag, at iba't ibang klase pang uh, seafood like uh, yung uh, squid or pusit.
Next, we have Filipino soups. Okay, tayo mga Pilipino, typically may ilig tayo sa sabaw kahit saan tayo kumain. Una dyan, yung sinigang. It is a popular dish na distinguish is by sourness that often buys with adobo for consideration as the national dish. Pangalawa naman, we have tinola. Ayan, basically, ang uh, gamit sa tinola ay yung uh, chicken. Okay, na may... Uh, papaya or sayote slices. Next, we have nilagang baka. It is a beef stew made with cabbage and other vegetables. Okay. We have binakul. It is a warm chicken soup cooked with coconut water and served with strips of coconut meat. Yung uh, laman ng uh, nyog. Inihahalo yun. Then, we have lapas bat choy. Ito naman ay isang noodle soup Garnish with pork innards, crushed pork, cracklings, chopped vegetables, and topped with a raw egg. Then we have miswa. Ayan, sikat na sikat din ito sa atin ng mga Pilipino. Na may halong uh, beef, okay? may halong uh, laman loob. So, yan ang miswa. Next, we have mommy. So, ang uh, mommy naman class ay it is a noodle soup. Ano? Made from chicken, beef, pork, wonton dumplings, or intestines, or mga laman loob. So, meron tayong uh, sutanghon dyan. No? Pwede yan. Or bihon. Pwede din. Ano? Then, for vegetarians naman, Uh, mostly sa ating mga uh, Ilocano, dito sa probinsya, we have dinengdeng. Okay? Or sa matigas na Ilocano, sabi nila dinengdeng. Ayan. So, it is a dish consisting of uh, malunggay. Ayan. And slices of bitter melon. Pwede din yung uh, bulaklak ng kalabasa. No? Yung mga uh, labong. Ayan. Mayroon din tayong pinakbet. Ayan, dito sa uh, north, mahilig tayo niyan, lalo na dito sa Pangasinan, na may uh, pampalasang bagoong isda. Next to Filipino food, let us proceed to Filipino sports. Okay, uh, pag sinabing uh, sports, of course, magagaling ang Filipino dyan. Uh, recently, Uh, nanalo tayo ano, sa weightlifting ano, na pinanalo ni Heidi Lynn Diaz. Number one sport, we have arnis or eskrima. So, this is the Philippine version of martial arts. This is called arnis. It is that the country's national sport. Arnis is a weapon-based form of combat using for fighting scenes 16-10. So, ganito na katanda itong sport na ito. So, due to the country's diverse local dialects, it is also known as Iskrima, among other names. Number two, we have Sikaran. This martial arts sport, which has been around since the 16th century in the Rizal, Philippines. So, uh, basically, uses feet rather than the hands. Ano? Kung makikita natin dyan sa image, ano? One distinct technique in Sikaran is the Bayakid Kick, move which aims to hit the back of the opponent's head. Pangatlo naman itong uh, tinatawag nating sipa. Of course, sino ba naman ang hindi uh, nakakakilala sa sport na ito? Uh, actually, may isang klase tayo nung uh, sepa dito sa Pilipinas. Na, uh, of course, yung uh, pang panahon ng uh, Uh, 80s, 90s talagang uh, yung sepa yung uh, bilog na may butas sa gitna nilalagyan ng uh, uh, balat ng candy yun yung pinakaunang uh, sepa dito sa atin sa Pilipinas and then hanggang sa naging sport ito na hango sa Indonesia naman so naging sport na din natin ito itong tinatawag na uh, sepak takraw ano? sepa or to kick. Yan ang uh, meaning niya. It is a native sport which which is closely related to sepak takraw of 
Indonesia. So the game is undertaken with two teams opposing each other with a net in the middle of a court. So the goal is to kick a rattan ball back and forth until it lands on the floor of the opponent's side. The next we have Silat. Ang Silat, it is an indigenous martial art which involves players striking their opponents to fix hand position. So more on uh, uh, sa kamay ang ginagamit dito. Fix hand positions. It is also practiced in Brunei, Vietnam, Thailand, and Indonesia. So this sport has been included in the Southeast Asian Games. Then the fifth one, we have Dumog. It is a traditional wrestling in the Philippines. Sa Ilocano, ang tawag nila dyan, yung ginabu, sabi nila. So, traditional wrestling. Combining Filipino martial arts techniques, the aim in Dumog is to pin an opponent to the ground. Okay? Yan yung uh, uh, aim niya ano, upang ibagsak yung opponent or yung kalaban mo. So, strategies include pulling, yan, hilain mo, then grab, tulak, and pinning the opponent down yan, to targeting the body parts as they use for control. Next naman, itong pang-anim. Ano? Ito yung uh, pinakamasaya na sport sa atin. Naging sport na din ito. Dati-dati ay uh, ginagawa lang ito tuwing piyesta. Ano? So, palo sebo. So, during festivities, especially in the provinces, palo sebo is a common sport played by locals. Ano? It features greasy poles, yung madulas na yan, poste, Mostly, ang gamit dyan ay kawayan. So, made up of bamboo with a bag of prices sa taas. Makukuha mo yung uh, reward nandun sa taas pag ikaw yung nauna. Pin on top of it. So, the aim is to climb the greasy pole and whoever gets the prize in the quickest time. So, pabilisan. Kung sino yung uh, pinakamabilis, siya yung uh, panalo. Next, we have sungka. Ano? Mangilan-ngilan na lang yata yung nagsusungka dito sa atin. Ano? Sungka is a game for two, played using a wooden block na may uh, labing anim or uh, 16 na butas that uh, can hold pieces of either pebbles or hollen. Pwede dyan. Mga seeds, mga buto ng uh, sa amin noon, gulay, na, mga buto dyan. So, two of the holes called heads. Uh, yung uh, may dalawang bakanting uh, butas. No? Tig isa sila nung uh, nag, uh, dalawang naglalaro dyan. So, uh, it protects their own head. So, yung dalawang butas na yun na bakante, uh, we, call, we call that as heads. Okay? The goal is to gather as many peoples, etc. So, in their head, as the player, can in order to win the game. So, the game is also played in Asian countries like Thailand, Indonesia, and Myanmar. So, hindi lang yan yung mga sports na talagang... Uh, uh, sa Pilipinas, ano? hindi lang uh, yung mga sports na yan yung nakikilala yung mga Pilipino. Sa generation natin ngayon, of course, we have Manny Pacquiao sa boxing. Ano? And recently, he announced his uh, retirement in boxing dahil sa kanyang uh, pagpursu sa kanyang political uh, career. Then, we have Heidi Lynn Diaz sa so weightlifting ayan. and many more na talagang nakikilala na ang mga Pilipino we have we also have basketball ayan yun diyan yung ating mga gilas ano andiyan yung mga batang gilas ayan nandiyan ang ating PBA no? so at at iba pang sports ano na talagang uh, kilalang kilala ang uh, lakas at talino ng mga Pilipino Okay, next to uh, Filipino sports, we have music. Ayan, kilalang kilala mga Pilipino na music lover. No? Lahat tayo kahit sa ang sulok ng Pilipinas, no? mapa kahit na anong klaseng genre pa yan, no? kilalang kilala at talagang sa buong mundo, kilala ang mga Pilipino na isa sa mga pinakamagagaling na mga awit sa buong mundo. 
So number one class, we have indigenous music. Nandiyan si Lucio D. San Pedro. Siya yung may compose nung kantang sa ugoy ng duyan. Ayan, yung message niya napakaganda. That recalls about the loving touch of a mother to her child. Sana hindi magmaliw. Ayan, napakanta tuloy. So, we, next we have Antonio Buenaventura. His notable for notating folk songs and dances. Buenaventura composed the music for Pandango sa Ilaw. So, ito yung mga talagang may pagmamalaki natin bilang uh, mga Pilipino. So, yung dalawang yan, sila ay mga national artists for music. Next, we have gong music. So, una dyan is yung gangsa. Ito ay mostly, ano, uh, it's commonly known as gangsa and played by the groups in Cordillera region like in Baguio, Binguet, Mountain Province, Sifugao, Kalinga. Yan, kilala sila sa paggamit ng, or pagsusayaw, ano, gamit ang gong. Yan ay tawag nila ay gangsa. Especially sa kanilang mga uh, special equations like wedding, you know, uh, festivals, or piyesta. Naging tradisyon nila yung pagsasayaw na may daladalang gong. At uh, yung iba, ang term nila is uh, tadak. Yan sabi nila. Yan yung term ng iba dyan. Ano, habang sila yung nagsasayaw, may daladila silang gong for special occasions or uh, festivals. Next, in Southern Philippines naman, uh, specifically in the Mindanao, it is played by the Islam and Animist groups in Southern Philippines. Ganun din, uh, mostly uh, ginagawa nila yan in uh, uh, festivals and during occasions, special occasions. So, number three, we have is Hispanic influence music. So, kilala dyan ng Spain dahil sila ay uh, nag-stay dito for uh, 333 years. And Hispanic influence. No? Ayan, makikita natin dyan mostly. This influence can be easily seen in folk and traditional music. Especially sa part ng uh, Tagalog and Visayan regions kung saan ay uh, unang uh, uh, dumaong dumating yung mga Spanish. So under ng uh, Hispanic influence music, we have Bondalia music. As we can see in the image, ano, from the Polog City, Sambuanga del Norte. Ayan, yung Bondalia uh, is a traditional string orchestra comprising two string mandolin type instruments such as the bandoya and lot and a guitar and a double bass and often a drum for percussion next hispanic influence we have harana and condiman so ito ay mostly ano during the time of the spanish ay ginagamit ito sa panliligaw okay kung uh, mga lolo lola natin for example so, ito ay hango sa tradisyon ng Mexican-Spanish. Next, we have Tinikling. So, Tinikling is a dance from Leyte, which involves two individual performers hitting bamboo poles, using them to beat, tap, and slide on the ground in coordination with one or two more dancers who steps over and in between poles. So, this is one of the more iconic ano, Philippine dances. Kilalang kilala tayo dito. And it is similar to other Southeast Asian bamboo dances. Next to that, we have the so-called Cariñosa. So, this means a loving or affectionate one. So, it is the national dance and is part of the Maria Clara suit of Philippine folk dances. It is notable for use of the pan and handkerchief. And as we can see in the uh, image in amplifying romantic gestures by expressed by the couple performing the traditional courtship dance. So it is a courtship dance, itong Galinosa. So the dance is similar to the Mexican harabe, tapatio, and is related to the coracha, the minudo, and comadang dances in the Visayas and Mindanao area. In the fourth uh, 
music is via popular music or uh, the original Filipino music. So, yung pagmamahal natin sa ating uh, OPM. Yan. So, original Filipino music. Now, more commonly term, original Pinoy music or OPM. So, it is originally, originally referred only to Philippine pop songs, particularly ballads such as those popular after the collapse of its predecessor. So, the Manila sound of the late 1970s, currently, OPM is used as a catch-all term for popular music composed and performed by Filipino musicians and singers. Between the 1950s, 1960s, and before the 1970s came the emergence of the following singers like Pilita Corrales, Silvia Latore, we have Jomedes Maturan, Ricardo Manrique Jr., we have Ruben Tagalog, and of course, the better half of Tito Sen, we have Helen Gamboa. Next, during the 1970s, we have the emergence of these popular artists, Sigay and Peep, Nora Honor and Terzo Cruz III, Eddie Pergrina, we have Victor Wood, we have Lolita Carbon, the founding member of Basin, and of course, we have the guitar man, Nomo Nacinto, uh, na naging uh, presidential advisor for telecommunications, the uh, President Duterte. Next, we also have some of the major commercial Philippine pop music artists. We have Claire de la Puente, which is as sad to say, uh, he passed away because of COVID-19. You know? Then we have Didi Trias. Of course, we, ha we have the OPM hit makers. Diyan si Ray Balera, Rico G. Puno, Haji Alejandro, and Marcus Sison. We have the Jukebox, Jukebox Queens. We have Eva Eugenio, Imelda Papin, and Claire de la Puente. Then we have Basil Valdez. And we have Celeste Legaspi. Of course, yung uh, sikat na sikat na singer natin, uh, makabayan, si Capredi Aguilar. Yung uh, kilala sa kantang anak. Of course, we have uh, isa din sa mga pinakasikat dito when it comes to music. We have Ryan Kayabiyab, the singer and singer-composer. Of course, we have the emergence of these uh, artists during the 1980s and 1990s. We have Bejun Velasquez, Alcacid. We have Pops Fernandez. We have Gary Balenciano. We have Kuli Desma. Of course, itong uh, bare months, papariting na naman ng Pasko. Sikat na sikat to, si Jose Marichan. And of course, we have Janu Gibbs, Martin Libera, and of course, the master rapper, Francis Magalona. Then, in 1990s class, sumikat na itong uh, Eraser Heads, uh, led by Eli Buendia. Yan, but, uh, matagal na silang na-disband. Then, itong Shackol, ito naman, uh, kilala sila sa mga tinatawag nating tunog kalye, ano, itong Shackol, Eraser Heads. Then, we have April Boy, Regino, and of course, we have the River Maya, na it was led by Bamboo before, and then next to him is uh, Rico Blanco. Then, we have South Border, na... Uh, Nililid naman ni Jay Durias. Then we have Side A by Joey. Led by Joey. Then of course, itong uh, sikat na sikat hanggang ngayon. Itong uh, walang kupas na parokya ni Edgar. Mapaano nga uh, generation. Talaga nga uh, kilalang kilala sila. Then we have Maestro. Ano? Andrew E. Na pinasikat niya yung kantang uh, Banyo Queen. Yan. Then, in uh, 2000s and 2000s, 2010s, ang, uh, hanggang ngayon, itong mga singers na ito, uh, they are the leading OPM artists. Yung uh, mga iba dito ay uh, hanggang ngayon, ano? active pa sa music industry. We have Sarah Hieronimo. We have Angeline Quinto. Of course, we have Kichi Nadal. And Yen Constantino. Of course, we have uh, Rocksteady. No? We have Aisa, we have uh, Rachel Ango, and of course the uh, Spanish Cola. 
Then we have pop music uh, during uh, 1990s and 2000s. Dito sumikat yung mga bandang Neo Color, Side A, Intro Boys, The Teeth, Yano, True Faith, Passage and Freestyle. Kilala sila sa kanilang mga uh, sentimental songs. No? Hanggang sa then from 2010 up to 2020, dito na tayo na we are heavy influenced no? by the K-pop or the Korean pop music style, the, the J-pop. No? Dito tayo uh, uh, heavy influence na tayo ng mga uh, for uh, this kind of music, lalong lalo sa mga kabataan. So, lalo na sa mga Korean. Ano. Then number six, we have choir music. Ano. So, kilala dyan ang uh, pinakasikat dito sa Pilipinas, the Madrigal Singers. Ano. Originally, the University of the Philippines Madrigal Singers. They're one of the most ano, uh, famous. Famous sila. Ano. Not only in the Philippines, but also worldwide sa buong uh, Uh, sa buong mundo no? they, because they win international competitions uh, they became one of the most formidable you know, sa bansa so uh, the choir music is an important part of the Philippine uh, music culture so it dates back uh, to the choirs of churches that sing during the mass in the old days Of course, we have number seven of the uh, rock music. Uh, hindi din, uh, hindi din pa uhuli ang mga Pilipino when it comes to rock music. So, this kind of music, uh, the United States occupied the islands from 1898 until 1946. And, of course, dyan sila, uh, dyan nila inintroduce yung tinatawag na American blues, pop music, R&B, mga yan. At until now, na, we are heavy influenced. Rock and roll, which is uh, which became popular, no? gaya ng uh, mga the, uh, the Beatles. Yan. In the late 1950s, native performers adapted Tagalog lyrics for North American rock and roll music, resulting in the seminal origins of Philippine rock. So the most notable achievement in Philippine rock of the 1960s was the hit song Killer Joe, which propelled the group Rocky Pillars. Reaching number 16 on the American radio charts. So, during the 1970s, ito na. Nakikilala na ang uh, Pilipino. When it comes to rock music, came the emergence of the uh, Juan de la Cruz band na pinamumunuan ni uh, Mike Hanopol. Na? At si uh, Pepe Smith. Yeah. Then the hot dog. Then Sampagita. No, na nakilala sa kantang No si Balasi. Of course, we also have uh, Capri de Aguilar na sikat sa kantang Anak. Then, uh, during the 1980s class, itong uh, isa sa mga kanta ni uh, Fred Aguilar, yung uh, Bayan Ko, dahil sa kanyang pagiging uh, uh, nationalist, No? Dahil sa kanyang pagmamahal sa Pilipinas, siya ay bumuo ng mga kantang uh, makabayan. Gaya ng bayan ko, no? it became the uh, popular as an anthem noong kasagsagan ng 1986 EDSA uh, Revolution. Then at the same time, uh, counterculture rejected the rise of politically focused lyrics. So, uh, na ipinagbawal yung mga ganitong kanta noon ano, na tumutulig sa, sa mga uh, pamumunong hindi maganda ayan so ipinagbawal yung mga kantang yan noon so in Manila a punk crack scene developed dito naman na nagumpisa itong uh, mga pangkista no? led by bands like Betray, The Jerks Urban Bandits and Contras so the influence of New Wave was also felt during these years spearheaded by The Dawn. Yan. Sikat na sikat yan itong bandang The Dawn. And in 1990s class naman, dito na nag-emerge ang E-heads. No? They considered this as Philippine Nationals as the number no? in the Philippine recording scene. 
So, in the wake of their success was the emergence of a string of influential Pilipino rock bands such as Tufe, Tiano, Sha, Coltit, Pawakene Edgar, and River Maya. So, sa pamamagitan ng bandang Eraser Heads. Dito na sumunod itong mga uh, bandang uh, ito. No? So, 1990s, death metal emergence naman. Had bands as prominent pictures at club dread of Tunog Kalye. Then, in 2000, dito na nag-start, uh, matibelop yung mga iba't ibang klase pa ng uh, music like uh, punk, hardcore, emo, hard rock, heavy metal, and alternative rock such as Razorback, Wolfgang, Greyhound, Slapshack, yung mga uh, hardcore, kumbaga. Keso, Typecast, Chikosai, Kobsu, we have Bamboo, Kamikaze, Franco, we have Urban Dub, and the Progressive Bands, Paradigm, Fusebox, Earthmover, and Eternal Now. Then, 2010, sana? Dito na nag-start yung mga iba't ibang uh, subgenres ano na another format of rock music so or an independent music which included in the acts such as Autotelic, Snake Fight, Jijabu, Bullet Domas and Bandang Shirley. We have Cheats, BP Valenzuela. She's only 16. We have The Ransom Collective, Flamingo, so Jensen and the Plips. We have Malik's Experience, Tom Story, we have Lions and Acrobats, Mending um, Ben and Ben, December Avenue, Four of His Pages, uh, Clara Benin, Teres Lansangan, Unique Salonga, so this band, and I belong to the zoo, Brisom, Lola Amor, Lanchon, Muni Muni, yeah, Over October, and Lian, and Nara, among others. And we have hip hop. Yeah, nahilig na mga Pilipino sa hip hop music. No? So we have rap music. Gaya ni uh, Francis M. Noon pa lang. Ay talagang uh, in 1980s. Sumikat siya dyan. We have Ando E. Of course, we have Glock 9. Ano? So they are cited as the most influential rappers in the country. Being the first to release mainstream rap albums. Next, we have other genres like jazz, we have novelty pop, guy ni uh, Willie Rebilliame, uh, Fred Panopio, we have uh, Yoyo Rebilliame, then we have uh, Latin genres like uh, Bossa Nova Queen, Indian si, uh, City, and we have reggae. Yeah, magagaling din ang mga Pilipino when it comes to reggae music. Then we have electronic music. So class, let us continue to support yung uh, atin, no? yung sariling atin, ano? yung pagmamahal natin sa mga Pilipino food, pagmamahal natin sa UP music, sa, sa sports, lahat ng ito ay part ng ating nasyonalismo at pagmamahal sa ating bansang Pilipinas. So that would be the end of our uh, discussion for uh, this lesson. Thank you and God bless.